Ciao, friends. Beth with Thimble Hooks. Thanks for stopping by today. Remember last week or so ago, we made a solid sunburst granny square. Now I'm going to show you how to change colors very easily. Very, very simple to do. And the little knots won't show because I'm actually making a project that's going to incorporate the solids and the two tones and then one that has lots of colors. So we're going to do this one today. So let's get started. So our solid one looked like this, all the same yarn, and then this is just a two-tone. I just switched yarn one time, and I'm going to use, continue on with my Feels Like Butter. This one is pale gray, and this one is dusty pink, because I have a plan in mind, and I need more squares. So for a sunburst, we start with the magic circle. And if you're not familiar with the magic circle, I have a tutorial that's only a couple minutes long that shows you how to do it the easy peasy way. Boom. Just like that. And I'm using a four millimeter hook. That's what I've been using for all of these. You can use a five if you want your square to be a little bit bigger. But I'm using my four. This is my furled ebony. I love him. I love this one. I love this hook. So in our, there's our magic circle. We want to chain one, and now we are going to put 16 double crochets in our magic circle. So after the chain one, we do a double crochet, and mark that first stitch, because we will need that one in a little bit. And now 15 more, total of 16 double crochets. And 15 and 16. And now we'll pull our circle together, make it nice and tight. And now we have a little circle. Now in our marked stitch, we just do a slip stitch. So now we have our little circle right here. Now I can take my marker out because we've already used it. Our next round is a chain one, and we are going to do little puffs all the way around, one in each double crochet, and it's a three yarn over puff. So we're going to yarn over, go through our stitch, pull through once, pull up, yarn over, pull through twice, and yarn over and pull through three times. And then pull everything through and chain one to close. So we'll do that again. So you yarn over, go through the stitch, pull through once, go through that same stitch, pull through twice, go through that same stitch, pull through three times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven loops on our hook. Pull through all seven loops and chain one to close. And do that all the way around, just right here, and you'll have 16 little puffs. And here's my last puff. One, two, three yarn overs. Pull through all seven loops, chain one to close, and now we just have to close this round of our circle. So find the spot in between our first puff and our second puff, right there. And we're just going to slip stitch closed. It makes it, I think, it makes it look a little bit nicer. We don't have a very big gap at all. There you go. So we're going to do one more round with the pink. And the next one is, I've always called these a double crochet cluster, but other people call it a bobble. So whatever you want to call it. So we're going to do a four double crochet cluster. So chain one. And now we are going to yarn over, go through this space right here, and do half of a double crochet. We'll have two loops on our hook. Do not finish that stitch. That was the first one. We're going to do that again. There's the second one. Pull through two loops. Do it for the third time. Pull through two loops. And there's our fourth time. Pull through two loops. And we have five loops on our hook pull through all of our loops, chain one to close, and chain one more. So there's always two chains in between our bobble stitch. 
and to do that all the way around. So we'll go again. Do half of your double crochet once, twice, three times, and four times. Pull through everything, chain one to close, and chain one more. Do that all the way around. And here's my last one. Don't forget this guy right here, right in between those two puffs. We're always working between the puffs, but don't forget that one or you won't have 16 puffs or 16 bobbles. Done, pull through, chain one to close, chain one more. Now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen. And to close, round three, find the space in between your first bobble and your second bobble, and slip stitch. And now we have finished off the center part, so you can finish off this collar and your little knot won't show. Because you know I don't like it when the knots show. I tried very hard to make stitches and knots not show. And you just pull it tight and there's our center part. Right here. It's kind of the sunbursty part. Now I'll change the grain. We're just going to turn it into a square with our outside two rows here. And we'll be done. Now we could start anywhere you want to in between a bobble. Right here. I'm just going to start right here. Touch your yarn and do seven chains. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. I'm going to hold this little tail and I'm going to start working over him around the circle. So in this same chain space, now we want to make three triple crochets. So that's a two yarn overs. Pull through two, pull through two, pull through two. We'll do that again. Pull through two, pull through two, pull through two. And here's our third one. Pull through two, pull through two, pull through two. So what we have done is part of a corner. Here's half a corner and then there's a stitch and some chains. We will finish this at the very end. And we wanted to work over our tail ends so the next chain space gets three double crochets and we're just work over that gray or the silver nice pale gray one two and three the next chain space now we're going to work over the pink and the silver or the gray the next chain space gets three half doubles yarn over and pull through all three three times and then the next chain space gets three double crochets. That is our sequence. Two and three. Now we'll make a corner. This is a half a corner. This is a side so now it's time for another corner and our corner is three triples three triple crochet, chain three, and three more triple crochet, all in the same chain space. So that was two yarn overs. Pull through two, 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 one more time, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two. Now a chain three, one, two, three, and three more triple crochets. And that's how we make a corner. So there's a corner. Now we want to do a side again. This chain space gets three double crochets. The next one gets three half doubles, which is a yarn over and pull through everything. And the next one is three doubles. One, two, and three. And now we're on to another corner, which is three triples, chain three, and three triples all the way around. Just keep that sequence going and you'll be just fine. 
And here's my last little grouping of a granny cluster. Three double crochets in this last stitch. But we have to finish this corner. So we have one, two, three. There's our chain three and one stitch with our coming out of our chain seven. So I have to add two more triple crochets to this corner. So it's two yarn overs. Pull through two, pull through two, pull through two, and one more. Pull through two, pull through two, pull through two. And we want to slip stitch into the fourth chain up. So we still have a chain three space. One, two, three. Slip stitch right here. And now our join doesn't show. Isn't that neat? That's one of my favorite little sneaky tricks. I love that one. And now we're almost done. Only have one more really easy round. So again, we're working in the corner chain space right here. We're going to do our very last round. Easy peasy. These work up really fast and they're so pretty. Chain three. Two double crochet in that corner. Chain two. Three more double crochets. So what we did there was our chain three right here counted as a stitch, counts as a double crochet, two more double crochets, chain two, and three double crochets. That is a corner. Go into our next chain space is just a granny cluster, three double crochet, one, two, three. Same with the next chain space. Always working in between your clusters. And there's the next one right here. Three double crochet. One, two, and three. One more here right before we get to the corner. There's one more. So three double crochet. And now we made it to our corner space. Corner is three double crochets, chain two, and three more double crochets in that same space. One, two, three. One, two. One, two, and three. So there we go. Here's our first corner right here. One, two, three, four granny clusters of three double crochets each and another corner. That's going to be our sequence. So there's a corner and then there will be four sets of three double crochets and a corner all the way around. And I'll show you how we end. Almost done. These are so easy. Always working in between your clusters. And here's my last cluster of three double crochets. And now we just slip stitch into our third chain. And we're done, voila! And finish off. There we go. He's perfect. Looks just like this. All these are all the same yarns. All feels like butter. All three of these. I'm just going to keep mixing them up. Mixing them up, mixing them up. Thanks for stopping by. Thank you for supporting my small business. Please subscribe to Thimblehooks. Tell all of your friends and stop back soon. Thanks. Bye.